Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to, I'm going to be doing a video on top 10 games that you should buy for that non-gamer. So it's Christmas time and I wanted to give a list out there for anybody who's looking to gift a game for somebody. But for somebody who's a non-gamer and you don't want to spend a lot of money. So something inexpensive. Uh, I picked these out myself. I felt like these 10 games were the best type of games to probably give to somebody. Uh, who is a non-gamer and you don't want to spend a lot of money. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is Bun Chai Games. So this is not a game in particular, but Bun Chai is a small company based in New Jersey. They make these wallet type games. They cost about $10, $12 each. But surprisingly, they're actually really good games. This is just a few. Uh, Skulls of Sedlick, Circle of Wagons. But they're mostly known for Agropolis and Sprawlopolis, which are cooperative games. They played mostly solo um, I have here Res uh, Revolver Noir. Uh, definitely check out their website. I'm going to post a link to their website in the comment section. Uh, support a small company. They make these really, really good games. They have several others that I have here. I, I, of course, I'm not showing them on camera. But the first one I think you guys should check out is Bunshai Games. They have a, a wide variety on there. They all cost between 10 and 12 bucks. Um... Not all of them, I mean, not all of them are going to be pretty good or fit your uh, your, your uh, play style, maybe your friend's play style, but they're worth checking out. So that's going to be Bunshai Games for number one. The next one we're gonna, I'm going to be talking about is Air, Land, and Sea. This is the second one that came out. It's called Spies, Lies, and Supplies. Uh, this is a great two-player game. It's similar to the Battle Line system where you're trying to... Uh, take there's there's three spots obviously air and land and sea and you're trying to have more majority than in your opponent in each area this is like i said before this is the expansion and second part you can actually get the base game and mix both of these together i love this game a lot my wife likes it a lot fairly cheap you could probably pick it up for 20 bucks maybe less uh, definitely check this game out, Air, Land, and Sea. I think non-gamers are going to like it a lot because it does play fairly quick and you don't have to have this big uh, a analysis paralysis. But it's a lot of fun. Definitely check it out, Air, Land, and Sea or Air, Land, and Sea Spies, Lies, and Supplies. So the second one, th I'm sorry, the third one that I have here is Fallout Shelter. So any video gamers out there should know that Fallout is a pretty popular video game. I picked this up not knowing what to expect. I figured I'd give it a try and look interesting to me. And I was surprised how really good it is. This is a worker placement game where you're trying to build your own base. Um, but you're also competing against everybody else. So you're, you're trying to build it quicker than your opponents while also fighting monsters and stuff in your vault. Again, I was very surprised how good it is, how good the quality of it is. And it's a Fairly cheap game, about maybe 40 bucks. Maybe you can find it cheaper than that. Um, it does play in about maybe an hour, 45, depending on the player count. Two players will probably play in about 45 minutes. Uh, definitely recommend this game. Fallout Shelter. Check it out if you get a chance. It comes in this tin case, which I'm not really a fan of, but I don't, I don't think uh, that's that big of a deal. Because the problem with these tin cases is that after a while they like warp and stuff, but... For 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. Okay, so number four. Now, this is a deluxe edition. Uh, this is Radlands. So, this is another great two-player card game. Uh, you can pick this game up for about 20 bucks. This is just a deluxe edition. The the, core, the, the base game run is a small box, running about 20 bucks, maybe less. But this is one of my favorite two-player games out there. The rules are super simple. Game plays in about 30 minutes. Uh, I played this with non-gamers and they loved it a lot. You cannot go wrong with Radlands. Definitely one of the best two-player card games out there. So that's Radlands by uh, Roxley Games. But if you want to get them the deluxe edition, you're probably run you about maybe 50, 60 bucks, but still a good, a good investment. So the next one here is a game I've had for about two years that... I haven't really talked about much on this channel. It should get a lot more attention, and that's the search for Planet X. So this is a deduction game, but you, it requires uh, your app, an app on your phone where you and other players are looking for a planet um, on, your, on your sheet. And 
each player is going to, you know, put into the, into the app where they want. So, so you can search it between like an asteroid or the, another or a, another planet or in a cloud. And you're pretty much writing it down. I've played this with non-gamers and I have not heard one of them say anything bad about it. Time here says 60 to 75 minutes. I have not played a game that lasts in more than an hour. Uh, fairly, uh, fairly inexpensive too. Probably running about 30 bucks, no more than $40. Great game for non-gamers. Definitely check this one out. That's a search for Planet X. Okay, so the next one here is another one based on a video game, and that is Sniper Elite. So, if you watched any of my reviews before, I told you that hidden movement games are the type of games that got me into this hobby. And Sniper Elite, I think, is one of the most accessible ones out there. Well, one, it's, again, not that expensive. Maybe run you between $40 and $50. It plays really quick. I've played a two-player game and a three-player game in about 30 minutes, no more than 40 minutes. Rules are super easy. Um, fans of the video game might enjoy it a lot. I think it's one of the best hidden movement uh, board games out there, along with Mind Management. Uh, but this one is definitely a little bit more streamlined than Mind Management and a lot more easier to get to the table. So definitely check this one out, Sniper Elite, if you get a chance. I think a lot of non-gamers are going to love this one a lot, too. So here's one that my wife actually likes a lot, and that is Chronicles of Crime. This is another app-based game. You could pick this up at Barnes & Noble for about maybe $25, no more than $30. So this is also app-based. Um, you have all the, you're laying out all these cards, and you're pretty much trying to figure out uh, the crime. It, it's all based on different things. Um, I don't know if it's appropriate for younger people. There's some blood and gore but it's, again not that big of a deal uh a lot of non-gamers will love this game it plays to me it's more of a video game than a board game as everything is run through the app uh, i've actually recommended this to co-workers people who are like looking into doing something with their significant other uh great great game highly recommend chronicles of crime like i said you can pick it up in barnes and noble for about 25 bucks it's really cheap Easy to get to the table, rules are very simple, and the app explains everything for you. So, Chronicles of Crime, that's another one you guys should check out. So, the next one could be up for debate. So, again, uh, again if you've heard of Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven is, I have my own copy over there, it's too big for the table. But, Gloomhaven is a heavy dungeon crawler. So many people have known of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lions. You could pick this up at Target for about 35 bucks now. This is a cooperative dungeon crawl. It has, a, I believe it was 50 scenarios. I still haven't completed it myself, but it is a ton of fun. And the book tells you every uh, how to play step by step. It is an easier game to get to the table than original Gloomhaven. You could, like I said, you could pick this up in Target it is fairly inexpensive now. Again, you could pick this up $35. Uh, Non-gamers are going to have a lot of fun with this. I, again, I played Gloomhaven with non-gamer friends and they enjoyed it a lot. But this one is a lot more accessible and a lot more inexpensive to get to the table. And that is Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Line. Okay, so the so next one is Undaunted North Africa. So you can either get on Dalton, North Africa or in Dalton, Normandy. They're both the same game, just with different scenarios. This is a deck-building World War II area control game. And they, the way they mix the deck-building and the area control is... I, I, honestly, I don't know how he, did, how he did it, but it's by David Thompson and Trevor Benjamin. Uh, again, you can pick this game up for $40. The rules are very simple. It is one of the best deck builders game out there one of the best two-player games out there all of my non-gamer friends i have played this with have enjoyed it a lot they like it when i bring it to the table uh it's easy for them to catch on again if you're not if you're a non-gamer i think you're gonna like this game a lot that is undaunted north, north africa or undaunted normandy whichever one definitely check it out so the last one is going to be blitzkrieg or season Again, these are, I did a review on these recently. Both of these games play in about 20 minutes. They cost about $30 to $40. The rules are super easy. And like I've stated with all the other games, 
I have played these with non-gamers and they prefer to play these over any other heavy games that I got. Again, it plays really quick. It's fairly inexpensive and they, they are a ton of fun. Again, one of the best two player games that I have I've ever played. Uh, Caesar and Blitzkrieg, both of them play in about 20 minutes. And that's gonna do it for this video. So that's 10 games that you want if you want so again this this video is mostly based on games that you want to purchase for somebody that's a non-gamer and is inexpensive next video i'm going to be doing is uh games that you want to do for a gamer so check that out next uh, again if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'm going to be posting a link for the bun shy games if you wanted to look check out their website but until next next time have a great one guys keep playing